Welcome back to Battletech with the mod extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining today. All right. Um, well, last we came here to Fir Grove, we were taking a look at some of the contracts. And of course, one of the ones that we would really like to do is to try to, to save our reputation with the pirates so we can still keep access to reasonably priced goods on the black market which definitely has some great stuff on it so we're going to be nice to the pirates and we're going to run this mission here it's a destroy base which is not ideal but we're going to do it anyway and we're going to do it super cheap for them too so that we can get the uh, reputation out of it uh i don't think there's going to be any mechs that we particularly need that are going to show up at us with a skull and a half. It's probably a lot of base defense and light mechs. There may be a medium that shows up that might be attractive. Um, we kick up our payment a little bit because we do need better payment, but it's hard to find these missions, so every point is worth a lot, actually. This will take us back up into disliked, so that will be nice. Go ahead and run it at a minimum price and minimum salvage. All right, so we have our layout here from last time we ran, and I see no reason why we can't just send these guys right back in to the mix. Uh, I don't know how good the brawler is going to be here because of the uh, potential to run into the turrets, but we'll keep the brawler anyway since it can close in on any mechs that we have to deal with. The Wolverine is good at uh, with the rockets and the AC-5, which should take sorry the missiles. I keep saying rockets, but they act like rockets. They call them missiles, so I guess you could say uh, both ways. Um, rockets just firing from a rack. <laughs> so, play too many World War II games, I guess. Um, yeah, the other option would be the Shadowhawk, which would give us the uh, various options, such as the upgraded uh, AC-5, some LRMs, some SRMs, which would probably be a little more versatile than the Wolverine. I think we're going to drop the Wolverine and take our buddy here uh we've also got the dervish too i guess which is another one uh, the dervish is really good for the long range uh, fight with the lrm 10s so that's something to consider however uh, i think we're going to go ahead and stick with the shadow hawk instead and we're going to stick with the griffin now if the griffin gets knocked injured knocked down or something then we could probably sub in the dervish and the wolverine is subbing for the shadow hawk and the only thing is subbing for the brawler is the two fire starters here Command interface initiated. All right. We're entering a restricted area. E. I wonder if we should retreat. No. All right. We have to destroy the base garrison. Keep our thunderbolt on the road. The griffin can take a detour. Location confirmed. everybody else on the road. There's the base in the distance. Our griffin could probably get up on this hill over here. On this side or over here. Could do quite well up there. Oh! A little locust showed up. Wow, he even took a shot at us. Okay. Good to go. Actually, we could run all the way up into the tree line here and rotate, which is exactly what I want to do with the brawler. Commander. Bonsai can leap up. That's pro oh, there's even trees up here. Let's go ahead and jump up there into the tree line. Uh, the very edge of a tree. And we'll fire everything on the locust here. Roger that. Take off some of his evasion. Yeah, I was going to be surprised if something else shows go. up this round. Okay. Um. It's our best chance, I think. Although we could just get right in front of him, too. Um. Yeah, let's get to the side. 
Moving out. Put your Shadow Hawk here. We're not gonna fire everything. There's no reason to shoot the LRMs. They're just too inaccurate. The SRMs, we've only got 100. So I'm gonna turn off the SRM 2s. The rest can go ahead and fire. Special delivery! Well, the AC-5 took quite a few shots, didn't it? Receiving you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and step to the side again. We might get some hits with the Thunderbolt. Uh, we'll probably fire everything. I don't... Well, maybe not the SRMs. We've only got 100 of them, so we've only got 10 shots with it. It's a light mech. I'd rather save it for something bigger. Copy that. Oh, yeah. There some big hits there. Just shredded the entire side of that <laughs> mech. And he's down. All right, so there's a lot of rockets coming in. Ooh. Let's hit him hard. So Tick could go and punch, but then he's kind of out in the open doing nothing. He can move up, but he's not going to hit anybody. We could run maybe up here in the middle, maybe? We're off to the side. I'm going to run to the side. Let's move. What's that? A fire starter. And another locust. Yeah, see, this is why we didn't need to get salvaged. The only thing is this one mech back here, but I still think it's all lights. Firestarter, make punch. Nope. Oh, he went after the thunderbolt. Standing by. Yeah, we're gonna just fire our PPC right at this thing that's laying on the ground and finish him off. Go. Mech destroyed. I hear ya. Steel jaw, um, probably make a move to the side here. Uh-huh. That AC-5, um... Can't hit there, but it can definitely hit that. Okay, it's a stinger out there. So let's target the stinger. These two here. Oh, B is hard to hit. We'll turn the SRMs. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and turn the SRMs on. This time. Wow. Okay, everything's going on A anyway, so. All weapons are go! The auto cannon missed. Some of the rockets hit. Again, missiles. <laughs> I'll eventually go. teach myself that. It's just gonna take forever. Yeah, let's just step up here. The Thunderbolt's not intimidated by these little tiny mechs. See, we'll turn our SRMs back on. I don't think we're gonna use them. No, 35. Uh, we'll just use the SRM6, I think, on the Stinger. Uh, we can leave the lasers on, that's fine. And the auto cannon has 14 shots left, so we're good. We can shoot that for quite a few more rounds. We're not doing well with the auto cannons, though. They're just not hitting. There's the turret. As long as the brawler keeps moving, he's gonna stay alive. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, everything's shooting at the brawler now. Tick has got the work cut out for him as a lighter mech. Um, I think he's going to close in here and open fire on this mech. Even though it's just a regular move, he'll still get four pips of evasion and a little bit of line of sight, too. We'll fire everything. All weapons, fire. Reporting critical hit. Oh, 
Oh, he's standing in this field that's probably making it harder for him to both target us, but us Minor to target damage, him. damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. That fire is actually a little problem, a little bit of a problem for the Thunderbolt in the Badlands here. Taking a few hits against these lighter mechs. Good to go. Yeah, we'll fire on the stinger and try to finish him off. Yep, we got him. Our Griffin sniper okay, is taking down. everybody down. Waiting for orders. Yeah, actually, uh, this. Let's see, he, this guy's standing in that mineral field. Plus four difficulty to hit units within a mineral field. Plus two difficulty for attacks made. So it's actually a beneficial Waiting for on him you, to stand there. We move and turn back on these guys. Don't need to tell me twice. Hit from the side on the one that's over by our Thunderbolt there. Turn our back on the... I'm going to turn off the LRM-5. Oh, no, I'll leave it on. it got plenty of, of missiles there. Almost said rockets. Um, <clears throat> turning our back on the, the turrets is not such a great idea, but uh, I think the fire starter will be able to distract them. This should be good. That AC-5 is shooting an extra shoot, round. Or something. What's up, boss? I mean, it does have a. It is an upgraded AC5, so. Um. This fire starter's kind of got an open side, so I think we're gonna step up next to him. our side to the turrets on the Thunderbolt here. We'll turn everything on, including the AC-5. Lost his arm. Reporting. Critical hit. I did go after the fire starter. Barely hit, Commander. And that PPC missed. Much more misses. Brawler's doing all right up there. The brawler's gonna sprint uh, to get close to these things. Yeah, let's get up here. Give him something to shoot at. The brawler can still take quite a few hits, especially from rockets. He'll be able to dish out a lot of punishment up here on these things too. Punch. 45 damage. Our Thunderbolt. And he might overheat us a bit here. Yeah, structure damage. That's too bad. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Enemy flanking. Good call on the rear shot from the Locust. Ready for orders. Okay, we're gonna, uh, let's rotate this mech. We can see everything. Fire on the fire starter, but we were firing on the side that's not injured. This is an unhit mech. So let's go ahead and fire on that with the PPC. Then we missed. Still exposed structure. What can I do for you? Uh, his right side is missing quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> let's see if we can't see t both mechs here. Yeah, there we go. Turn our back to the turrets and let the fire starter eat more. And we'll fire on the fire starter up here. Our, well, I meant our brawler, not this fire starter. And we'll switch these long range missiles up, I think. And the AC5. No problem! I've got enough guns for everyone! Thought that would have done more than that. It hits, though. 
Waiting for orders. Kodiak's overheating. So we're gonna have to get him to fall back. Her maybe. <laughs> get her to fall back. Position confirmed. Okay, let's turn off some stuff here. Uh, we'll turn off our medium laser, our weaker medium laser. SRM4 maybe? It's still overheating. Can we keep our SRMs on? No, let's keep the medium lasers. Okay, hold on a second. Let's multi-target. We do have a small laser and those are pretty efficient. can't fire the small laser and okay so we'll turn off the small laser try to balance out our heat here Ugh, we're just overheating at everything we do okay so the only thing we can really do is fire the SRM 6 and the AC5 those don't generate too much heat compared to the rest the AC5 is 5 heat the SRM-6 is 12 heat, while the medium laser is 12 heat as well. The SRM-6 is going to hit a lot harder. Uh, the small laser is uh, only 6 heat, but we just can't turn it on if we want to cool down a bit. We're almost maxed out in heat. Oh, we missed. Really hoping that would have done better. <laughs> Brawler took some minor hits there. Bunch of misses too. He's gonna have to Mahala, Muhammad Ali this stick and move. Do they think they can hurt me? All right, take. Um, we move all the way over here and hit this turret up here on this hill, on the top there. Yeah, fire everything. Try to kill it. It's okay if we don't kill it, because the griffin can take it out. This fire starter's pretty hurt. Alright. Yes, Commander. Actually, Bonsai... may need to move... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to have Bonsai move down. I think, because I don't think you can see those that turret that we want to hit. That one right there. Now the PPC can't hit it? Maybe line of sighting it? So it's got 75 armor. I don't think we can kill it. Uh, we'll, we got five shots with 10 damage. That's only 50 damage. We can't kill that. Was not what I expected. These shots are no good, actually. Turn off the LRM and take a shot at the fire starter, I think. It's it's kind of useless. It's on his strong side, too. Maybe we'll just turn the LRM back on and start working on the light LRM turret there. Locking on. I hear ya. Let's see, he ran into that mineral field. He ran off too. Alright, let's uh, see if we can't get our other mech moving up and trying to assist here. Got it! Shadowhawk's got a pretty strong auto cannon. Primary target is that defender turret, and secondary target will be that one. We do 49 damage, it's not going to be enough to kill that uh, defender turret. So we'll just dump everything into that defender turret there. We missed anyway. Jeez, these autocans are not having a good day. Orders? Kodiak can move in here. I'm Maybe away. help out. Again, we're still trying to kill this defender turret. Got almost 150 hit points left. 
and we're not going to be able to even do much to it. Turn on the SRM-6 again. Okay, a couple shots at the fire starter, even though it's all on his strong side, which is good for him, bad for us. Our AC-5 is trying to help out on that defender turret over there. Roger. There's a hit. Doesn't have much left. In the way of armor, that is. Brawler's taking that pretty well. Light damage. This other turret's too close. Ooh. So that it's not gonna be able to hit with those LRMs. Indirect shots. Still oh, you bastards. Head injury. Okay, he's got four hit points. Yes, Commander. Uh, again, it's that stick and move thing there, stick and move. Yeah, let's get him around front. Roger. That should be able to hit this turret right here. Yeah. Nothing else is worth shooting at. We'll finish the uh, light LRM turret, I believe. Yep. Turret destroyed. Slider mechs were not too worried about at this point. They're damaged pretty badly, but they're still dangerous. Especially if he comes up here and punches us. And then cooks us with his flamers. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. Yeah. Side shot would take out some of his equipment there. This again is not an ideal angle. Go ahead and shoot at the locust. Aye, aye. Good hit. Up his arm. I'd rather the griffin be shooting at those turrets, but it is what it what is. What can I do for you? Let's take this thing out. Oh, it didn't kill it. <laughs> I didn't really check the damage on it. Uh, Commander? Kodiak's having a bit of problems here. Yeah, Commander. Um, I guess he's kind of okay. She? Armor's looking pretty thin in the back quadrant, and dealing with these lighter mechs is quite dangerous. This mech is hurting on this side. We could just rotate get up here and rotate back, but again, we're turning our back to the uh, turrets, which is kind of a bad thing. We kind of half do it. Let's turn our side. Border received. All right. Turn off a bunch of stuff here. Is that all we can do? We turn on anything else? I guess it's not worth it. Okay, we'll fire the medium or the lasers. That's it. A couple lasers. One missed anyway. Ah, we still got the torso. Take that! Heat sink problems with that. Reporting. Mech. Minimal damage. Oh. The C hit straight on. I think that's the next target for our tick. Good to go. Run over here. Position confirmed. Turn on that PPC at close range. Grab those long range guys by the belt and stick right up against them. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh, taking shots at our Shadowhawk. Because we're not worried about you. Oh, 
Oh, this closed the back. That's very dangerous. That's what I was worried about. We're going to have to uh, turn people around here. Um... Yeah, this fire starter needs to go down, and we're on the favorable side, finally. I think I'm going to fire a precision strike on it. Uh, let's go for the leg. I'm going to knock it down. Roger. That'll slow it down a lot, too. It's not going to be running around doing all its fun stuff. Waiting for order. Turn the Shadowhawk around as well. Optimal range, maybe. I don't know. I think just getting close is fine. We'll rotate uh, at least so our side is to the turrets. I think. On my way. Our thunderbolt's having some trouble, and he's got a back exposed. So we need to make sure that that ends right now. Firing everything. Got it. There we go. Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, what's up, boss? We'll move Kodiak into the mineral field for defense. Still overheating quite badly, so I think this round um, we're going to brace. Can we not brace? It's only going to let us fire. only gonna let us fire okay well we'll turn off everything except the small laser and the SRM 6 I think no we'll keep we'll turn everything off just the um, small laser oh look at that the small laser is very dangerous Oof. brawler starting to take a beating out there but he's doing all right Receiving you. Not Try to finish way. off that PPC turret up there, I think. Light support, we're gonna turn our side to. Firing. All weapons. Oh, didn't kill it. Waiting on you, Commander. Steeljaw might be able to help out with that problem. Coordinates received. Let's see what we got here. Um, probably fire just the AC5. No, we can fire it. We can fire it. It's fine. That's barely alive. Waiting for orders. On my way. We'll get our medium mechs up here now to help out some. What do we see here? Now let's kill that. It's got small lasers on it. One less turret. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. We will brace to cool down. We're still heating up because we're on fire. We're just going to take a turn to brace. That turret's on the ground. I wonder if we can punch it. <laughs> aye, aye. It's on the ground right there. No, can't punch it. Yeah. Um, can we get a couple movement pips? Probably not. Um... Right line of sight there. That's I don't know if that's gonna be close enough. That's close enough. There's a couple evasion there. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Bonsai might just be going for buildings now. Um not worth it. Oh, it looks like it's like just buildings. Locking on target. 
Are you serious? We missed that? Wow, okay. You betcha! Fire our LRMs at the other turret on the other side. Our AC, how about a medium laser probably? How's this turret looking here? It's actually pretty strong still. Oh, this is the defender turret. Uh, I don't think... Let's put our AC on it. Yeah, AC on that. SRMs can fire on the building. Put the medium laser on that turret too. I don't, actually, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, there we go. Got it. Yeah, didn't need to do that. Structure down. It's history. Okay. Yeah, Commander. Position confirmed. Zodiac sparking a bit from the internal damage. The only targets we have are buildings. Our AC is not going to take down a building. So we'll fire maybe the medium military Roger. building. Uh, missed anyway. Our ACs are terrible today. Yeah. Terrible. Ready for orders. Wish you could punch those things. Just kill it. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> Good to go. Actually, Steel Jaw could probably just tee off right here. We'll multi target it. And then we'll target uh, one uh, one of the buildings up here is fine. I'll target two buildings. Because building B should be able to die pretty easily uh, with the AC and the uh, SRM 2. Well, let's send the SRM. Five, and then the rest will go after building C. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. There we go. Kill. Kill. Good division of firepower there. Taking the shot. Another kill. One left. This base is toast. Good to go. Nothing left to defend it. Thunderbolt actually lost some pretty good armor there, didn't he? Copy that. Orders. Went up here to finish off the building and call it a day. And the pirates can thank me for the sacrifices that we've made. Leopard inbound, Commander. I meet you at the LZ. It was actually a little harder than I thought. The light mechs were definitely causing some harassment issues. They broke through the Thunderbolt's back's armor, center torso, which put him at risk. He's got a lot of armor and structural integrity there, too. So even though it's back... Um, it's probably okay, but just wouldn't like to get anything hit there. Our brawler was starting to take some losses up front. Yeah, he still had 74 left. That would have taken some work to get through. Uh, but if he did, we would have lost a lot of stuff. Our center torso had the Earthworks chassis. Um, could have potentially been destroyed. Everything else was fine. We didn't take any loss to any equipment. Our Thunderbolt's out, which is bad news. We don't need locust stuff, but we'll get it for the mech parts to uh, sell later on. <laughs> Just says tick is out of action. That's all it says for 11 days. I guess uh, that's what happens when you get hit in the head of the mech, right? All right. Repairing is going to take five days on the Thunderbolt. Jeez. Five days for our main battle mech there. That's kind of a little intimidating to lose that mech. 
uh, for that long of a time. And that was a, just a skull and a half mission. So the next thing that we might want to consider doing is this assassinate where we can take in our medium mechs to replace the one that's missing. And the brawler hits way above his weight class. Gotta watch out for the Martian terrain though. It's hard to sink heat there, which is definitely a problem for some of our mechs. Uh, not interested in a destroy base very much and definitely not a convoy problem right now either. Though, so the assassinate sounds like a good deal for us. Alright, thanks for joining. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.